Madam Chairman, Chairwoman. Uh, Dr. Fauci, I believe you have testified that uh, that uh, you didn't give any money to the Wuhan lab to conduct gain-of-function research. Is that right? That is correct. How do you know they didn't lie to you? Excuse me, sir? How do you know they didn't lie to you and use the money for gain-of-function research anyway? Well, we've seen the results of the experiments that were done and that were published and that the viruses that they um, uh, studied are on public databases now. So none of that was gain of function. So how, how do you know they didn't do the research and uh, not put it on their website? There's no way of guaranteeing that. But in our experience with grantees, including Chinese grantees, which we've had interactions with for a very long period of time. They're very competent, trustworthy scientists. I'm not talking about anything else in China. I'm talking about the scientists that you would expect that they would abide by the conditions of the grant, which they've done for the years that we've had interactions. So with. you don't think the Chinese would lie to you? Well, when you say the Chinese, the Chinese are a rather broad group. I know the scientists that we've dealt with have been trustworthy. Mm -hmm. You think all the scientists uh, have told the truth in terms of the origin of the Wuhan virus and not been influenced by the Communist Party of China, do you? I don't have enough insight into the Communist Party in China to know the interactions right. between them and the scientists, sir. Right. Why are we giving them money in the first place? Well, that's a very good question, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to answer welcome. it. Uh, well, SARS-CoV-1 started in China, in Guangdong province, and it went from a bat to a civet cat to yes, a human. Yes, and excuse me, Doc, for interrupting you, but our time is so Yeah, limited. no, no, I'm, I'm going to be real quick. I, our time is so limited. Why are we giving money to the labs in China to study virology? Well, I'm, I'm going to give you a, a rather succinct answer to that, sir. I appreciate that. And that's why I was saying the SARS-CoV-1 Clearly, the bats that have the viruses, that have the coronaviruses, are in China. As I said a couple of times, it's not in Fairfax County, Virginia, or is it in New York? It's in China. So if you want to show and study, importantly, the animal-human interface, the that's where the bats are. Yeah, the okay. bats. Where, I that's got where it. the bats are. I want to be sure I understand your testimony. You didn't give money to the Wuhan lab to do gain-of-function research. That is correct. And you believe they didn't do gain-of-function research because they told you they didn't. We've seen the results of the studies that they conducted, and in they were not Including any private studies. Excuse me? In including? Any private studies. I'm not sure what you're getting at, sir. I, I, well, here's what I'm getting at. You gave them money, and you said, don't do gain-of-function research. Correct. And they said, we won't. Correct. And you ha have no way of knowing whether they did or not, except you trust them. Is that right? Well, we generally always trust the grantee to do what they say. And you look at the results. Have you ever had a grantee lie to you? I cannot guarantee that a grantee has not lied to us because you never know. Yeah. Can we agree that if you took President Xi Jinping and turned him upside down and shook him, the World Health Organization would fall out of his pocket? I don't think I can answer that question, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, do you think that the uh, President Xi Jinping has undue influence over the World Health Organization, do you? I have no way of knowing the influence of the president of China over the WHO. Okay. So you think the WHO is a completely independent body, level playing field, call it like you see it, and they really want to get to, to, to the bottom of the origin of the virus. Do you believe that? My interaction with the WHO and for Dr. Tedros, the director general, has been one okay. that I do believe he's a person of high degree of integrity. I got it. I want to I ask one last question. 
Why, why did you guys spike, not guys and ladies, why did y'all spike the prior administration's uh, investigation into the origins of the coronavirus and whether it could have uh, come out of the Wuhan lab? Sir, I, I, we did not spike anything in the prior administration. I'm not sure what you mean by spike, but we have no influence. The State Department spiked the, the, the prior administration's right. uh, study. But that has nothing to do with the National Institutes of so Health. So they didn't consult with y'all? They did not. Did they consult with you, Dr. Collins? I read about it in the press this morning. Doc? They just spiked it without talking to their experts? You don't want to answer that one, do you? <sighs> I just read about it. Thank you, Madam Chair. Senator Murphy. Uh, thank you.